with an Arduino Uno and an Arduino Uno shield, you can make an electric vehicle charging station and charge an electric vehicle with it. Let me show you how. This is the charging station that I'll show you how to make. It's based on an Arduino Uno, one of the microcontroller boards most used by hobbyists in the planet. And I'll show you how to make this shield, a board that fits on top of the Arduino Uno to add the hardware that is necessary to make an EV charging station. First, let me explain generally how this works. And for that, I'll use the schematic. So the electric grid connects via a protective earth connector, a line and a neutral. The grid connects to an RCBO, which means residual current breaker with overcurrent. It would work without this device, but I put it there because it's important to protect against electric shock. Then the line and neutral from the RCBO connect to the Arduino Uno shield and from the Arduino Uno shield connects to the EV together with the control pilot and the protective earth. So what happens here in the Arduino Uno? There are a couple of relays here. And depending on the communication that is established with the control pilot, the Arduino Uno will decide that the electric grid should be disconnected from the electric vehicle or that the electric grid should connect to the electric vehicle, thus allowing the vehicle onboard charger to charge its battery. And I placed the components and the wires in the exact same place and order as in the schematic to make it easier to understand. So the first step is to program the Arduino Uno. You can have it connected via USB to your laptop and then let's get the code that you'll need. You can go to my repository in GitHub Please find the link in the description. And the simplest way is really to just download the zip file. There it goes to the download folder. And then you can go to your folder and unzip it. I'll just leave it here for the demonstration. You can place it anywhere you like on your laptop. Then I use VS Code because this is my favorite programming environment. It's for free from Microsoft and you will need this extension called Platform.io. You can also get it from the extensions for free and install it on VS Code. You can go to this section and then import Arduino projects and then choose a board Arduino Uno and then find your folder that you just downloaded. Here it is and then you navigate it to the project folder and then press import and here you go you have the ac charging station imported i don't think it's worth to explaining the code you can go through it yourself if you want i'll just mention that everything is in the main because it's not a long project and there is one thing here in the platform io.init file that you may want to change. So my USB port is COM3, but you may have to change this depending on where the USB connects in your laptop. All right, so 
you can go here to the right corner and build. Alright, it was a success, so now we press Upload to flash the Arduino Uno with the code. And now, how do we know if this is working? So Platform I.O. lets us use a, a serial monitor here. Let's press that. And then you will see here in the terminal some messages and those messages are just I coded some debug messages so that I know things are working so if you get some messages here then you know it's been a success and the Arduino controller is programming is programmed with the code all right now we can continue with the build so to get started we get a box with a DIN rail. I 3D printed mine but you can get a generic box with a DIN rail. Then we fit in a ground connector and the RCBO for electric shock protection. Then we will need an Arduino board. And this is the board that we're gonna have to make to make the charging station work. So you can find on GitHub the schematic and the PCB and the fabrication files for this PCB and the bill of materials. Everything you need to build the board. Let me just give you a quick overview of the schematic. On the top left we have the relays that are responsible for connecting the electric grid to the electric vehicle. On the bottom left we have the power supplies. On the top right we have the circuit that is gonna create the control pilot and on the bottom right the microcontroller and the circuit for current sensing. So this is the board design. This is the board after it's been fabricated. And this is the board with the components already soldered to it. These are the connectors that are going to fit in the Arduino Uno. So line and neutral connect here. And uh, here line and neutral connect to the vehicle. And then we have two relays here that are responsible to open or close the connection between the electric grid and the electric vehicle. And then we have two transistors here that are responsible for driving the relays. Then we have a power supply here and another one here. This one converts 230 volts into 12 volts and this one converts 12 volts into minus 12 volts. And we need this because we have an operational amplifier here. It works as a comparator. That is the one that is going to help us produce the PWM, which is the control pilot. It will go to plus 12 volts and minus 12 volts and back a thousand times per second because it's a one kilohertz uh, signal. Then we have some LEDs to help understanding what's going on just as a user interface. This one means that it's powered on. If this one is on it means that it's plugged into the car and then when it's charging these two LEDs uh, turn on alternately. And then we have this connector to connect the control pilot of the car and then this one to connect the Arduino board to connect the ground to earth. And then this is a part here that is not populated yet because it's for future developments when I add the current measurement like the vehicle charging current measurement but it's not needed, it's just an extra feature for the future.
All right, let's get going. I 3D printed these parts to fasten the Arduino Uno to the DIN rail. If you like, you can find the files to 3D print on GitHub as well, or you can fasten the Arduino Uno to the box in any other way that you like. And I fastened the Arduino board to this 3D printed part with some screws. And this is how it's gonna go to fit in the DIN rail. Next, I fit the board that goes on top of the Arduino Uno. Make sure it's nice and tight all the way to the end. Now we're going to insert the cable that is going to connect to the electric grid. I'm going to connect ground to the ground connector. And I'm going to connect line and neutral to the RCVO. Next, I will fit in the DIN rail the set of Arduino Uno with the boards. Yeah, now it's fit into the DIN rail. Now we need two wires to connect the RCVO to the Arduino Uno grid input. Connect the neutral first. And the line. And then connect those two wires to the RCVO. Yeah, nice and tight. Always refer to the schematic if you're thinking on how to connect the wires. And on the right there, I already connected the ground pin of the printed circuit board to that earth connector, the thin earth connector. Now let's connect the vehicle connector. The earth wire first. And the control pilot. The neutral. And the line. Alright, so everything is connected and our charging station should work now that is it just arrange the wires make everything is connected and in place and it's done so ev after everything is put together it's time to start testing and it's always a good idea to test progressively. So first of all, connect power to your charging station and flip up the RCBO switch. Already we have a good indication that the top LED is on and then we know that the bottom LED will be on when plugged into a car. So for that, I'm gonna use the vehicle side control pilot circuit. I have another video where I explain how to make an EV simulator, but this is the circuit on this board. So I'm just gonna use this bit and go here to the vehicle connector and connect ground to ground and control pilot to control pilot. And I'm gonna hold it like that and you see that the bottom LED is on. Now, when I flip the switch, it should turn the, it should close the relays, which is good because it also makes an audible sound and the middle LEDs should be blinking alternating. So let's see what happens. So everything looks good. So there was that click from the relays and the LEDs are working as expected. So let's hear the click when I turn it off. All right. And then if I disconnect, 
ok that LED turns off as well so it looks good I think it's time to test it with the car then all right so I installed the charging station outside I park the Tesla Model 3 next to it let's see what happens I plug it in you see the LED of plugged in and immediately the LED is indicating that it started to charge so everything looks good let it go for a little bit and now I'm gonna go to the vehicle screen and press the button stop charging and once I press it you see that the charging indicator LED is to stop blinking and once I remove the vehicle connector also the LED for connected went off that looks good and then I'm gonna do a test with the current meter excuse me but I didn't zero the current meter so it's uh, reading more than one amp at zero but uh, bear with me it's, uh, as we start charging the current starts increasing and it goes all the way to 10 which is the current that we programmed as maximum and this is the line in the code that you can edit to be you know, something else I made 10 amps because I have a low power available at home and if we look at the vehicle screen, we can see that it's charging at 10 out of 10 amps offered. So, again, everything looks good and as expected. Still charging. And now again, I'll press stop in the vehicle screen so that we can see yeah, the current coming down. Yeah, the LEDs indicate that it's off and the current went down rapidly. And as I unplug, Yeah, everything went fine. Looks good. All right, so I replaced the vehicle connector with the Type 1. This is the only thing that I changed, just to demonstrate how the charging station works the same with this connector or with the Type connector, Type 2 connector that we saw with the Tesla Model 3. So let's plug this in. And we can see that it's charging with the indicator LEDs. And now I'm gonna show you one big difference between the Type 1 connector and the Type 2 connector. So if you remember, this connector has a button let's see what happens when I press it so this is one big difference when I press the when I press the button it does not tell the charging station to stop charging remember because the proximity is not wired to the charging station the proximity so the button tells the car to stop charging and the car tells the charging station via the control pilot to stop charging so here it is your charging station will work with the type 1 connector or sae j1772 or with the type 2 cheers